Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video here is I want to show you how to tackle this challenge activity 5.2.2. Um, it's a little bit tricky um, and if you follow this method uh, it, it will work out. So here's a, here's a problem. You're going to click to download this spreadsheet and when you do you're going to get a spreadsheet that looks like this and it's going to have 50 values in the A column here. Okay, that's great. So it said a school administrator believes that the mean GPA for a given course are higher than the preferred mean of 2.75. And, and this is at a significance level of 0 0.05 and checks a random, randomly chosen sample of 50 classes. Okay. So it says use sheet one of the Excel file to create a histogram, calculate X bar, the T statistic and the P value. Okay. So here's what's going on. Uh, the school administrator says, um, I want to test to see if the mean GPA um, for these given courses is higher than the preferred of 2.75. So that's it. That's the administrator's claim, and we want to test that. So this is how we're going to tackle it. Our null hypothesis is going to be that the mean is equal to 2.75, and our alternative hypothesis is, no, wait a second, no, wait a second, it's, it, it's higher than that. So the first thing it says is um, construct a histogram. So for the histogram, can normality be assumed? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to select our data. We're going to go insert, go to all charts, and we're just going to look at the histogram. And I'm going to move it up here into the Excel sheet. And look, you, you absolutely can see that it's normally distributed. So yes. So next it says calculate X bar. Okay. So let's do that. So the mean, so you're going to do equals average and you're going to select the columns. And it looks like the mean is, and I'm just going to, if you notice here, it's going to want it out to at least three decimal points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out here. So it's 2.752. So I'll put that in. Now it says find the T statistic. Okay, so to do that, what you're also gonna need is the standard deviation. All right, so you're gonna need to do stdev.s because this is a sample. So again, we're gonna select our 50 values, close. That's our standard deviation. So the T stat, Okay, what this is, you're going to go equals. It's your mean, which is this. So you have to do this with cell reference or else you're going to get this wrong. Minus 2.75, that comes from the null, divided by, set another set of parentheses, the standard deviation divided by SQRT this of the sample size. Well, if you look here, there were 50. So you're going to have to close all these parentheses here. So it's a little bit tricky here. And you're going to get 0 0.02, uh, 0, excuse me, 0 0.0923. All right, next it's going to ask, what is your p-value? All right, so for this, you're going to go back and you're going to have to use one of these right here. So this is a right-tailed test because I'm, the alternative is greater than. So it's going to be t.dis.rt. value so we equal t dot dist dot rt and then it's going to say your x well that's your t stat right here comma now the degrees of freedom that's n minus one okay so it's 50 minus one which is 49 and this right here is your p value it's 0 0.4634 So 0 0.4634. Now what do we do here? Okay, so since the p-value is greater than the level of significance, the null hypothesis fails to be rejected. So you'll only reject when the p-value is less than the level of significance. So there's insignificant, insufficient, excuse me, evidence to uh, exist that the mean is greater than 2.75, okay? 
So it's, we can't, if you look back here, there's insufficient evidence to support our alternative here. So let's check, and we got them. So I will, in addition to this video here, just so you can see how this is done, I will attach this histogram in the classroom for you um, so that you can see it as well. I hope it helped seeing this uh, video class.